What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. <clears throat> and in this video, we are going to be doing my review of Terrifier 3. The Joker review has just gone up on the channel. <clears throat> I know I'm a little late for Terrifier 3 as well. Um, I'm also going to be doing a ranking of all three Terrifier movies, not including All Hallows' Eve. So it'll just be Terrifier, Terrifier 2, and Terrifier 3. And yeah, let's, um, without further ado, let's get right into this. Starting off with the good. Now, the good about this movie is it has some really good cinematography. Um, I really do like this 80 film grain it's got going on throughout the entire film. It does feel like an 80s film. It gives me a little bit of flashbacks to Silent Night, Deadly Night in the way that the coloring is. Also gives me some Scream 4 vibes, which isn't a good thing because Scream 4 is one of the ugliest movies I've ever seen. But it takes kind of that coloring and takes off the that 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 oil sheen that screen four has so and it's got the 80s film grain and it just feels like a very 80s movie another good thing about this movie is you can tell the budget is definitely higher this feels like an official film an official movie whereas terrifier 2 definitely felt close but it's still a little you could tell it was low budget terrifier 3 you can tell they had an actual budget for this film um I also enjoy uh, some of the characters. I really enjoy the addition of, um, um, I'm forgetting her goddamn name. Oh my God. The inclusion of Gabby. I don't know why I was forgetting her name there. Um, who is Sienna's niece. <coughs> she is a brand new character. Very, um, I like the, the kind of uh, instant, att uh, not attraction, I don't know if that's a good word to use, but like instant curiosity that she has with her aunt Sienna. Um, and it's, it's a very uh, diff different and interesting um, situation. Um, she was definitely a standout new character of, um, of, the, of the movie. Um, I also like Sienna's brother a lot more in this movie. I'm forgetting his name. I'm, I'm not going to remember everybody's name. But Sienna's brother is a lot better in this. The kid who plays him. And definitely up the ante in terms of his acting. His acting was so much better in this than it was in Terrifier 2. Um, I did not like him in Terrifier 2, which I will get into in the ranking, but definitely, uh, he upped his game in this one. That's for damn sure. Um, I definitely do like some of the kills. Um, I, I, obviously you got the, the bathroom scene, the shower scene. So definitely some good kills, um, that I, I enjoy. Um, I do like the whole Christmas vibe. It's sometimes it works for me, other times it doesn't. Again, unfortunately, this is another one of those movies where I got a whole lot more dislikes about it than likes, which is the case with Joker too. Um, and obviously, the performance of Art the Clown is awesome as always. I, I you know I love him; he's great. Um, I think he I think he is a fresh I think he's a fresh life injected into the horror slasher franchise community. I think he did add something different. We've never really seen a quiet yet so emotional or like emotive killer. He's, he, 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 he is able to capture so much emotion without even saying anything, which is cool. Um, and he does a great job in this movie. He's, he's arguably the best he's ever been. Um, but unfortunately, that's kind of where the positives end for me. Now we are moving on to the negatives. Um, I have a lot of bad things to say about this movie. I think it goes a little too far with the gore. And that's crazy for me to say because I am a gore hound. I love my carnage candy. I think it went a little too far in this for me, man. It, it got to the point where it, it was just getting sickening. Not to the, not that it was like, oh my God, his body parts shown. Ugh. Not that type of sickening sickening is any it was just so overdone and it, it's just like they can't they they can't seem to get a solid script together so every time the script gets a little shoddy they just fall back on kills and they just go all out it's like all they try to do is up the ante in terms of their kills every time and it's getting to the point where it's like all right this is just fucking disgusting it's not not cool they're not fun they're just nasty um, I think the shower scene, obviously probably the most brutal scene in the movie. Um, but I feel like in some ways it was also a little more tame. 
And I know that sounds weird. You're like, why isn't it more tame? What do you got in your fucking mind? It feels a little more tame. Not towards the guy. That guy just got obliterated. But towards the girl, it was a little bit more tame. And I wonder if that was in response to a lot of the uh, misogynistic, uh, you know, like the uh, uh, accusations that they got. Um, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But it, they, they just got to be disgusting. And a lot of the things the characters do in this, they're just like... They're meant to be taken seriously, but you can't take them seriously. They just end up being funny. <laughs> and it's just, that's never a good sign. A big example of this is when the, the girl from the first movie, who's like possessed or something, again, plot hole, never really explained very well. Um, she starts taking a shard of glass and um, uh, masturbating with it. Um, while she is watching Art just tear this guy's fucking hairline off and just beating his head into the floor. Stuff like that, it's just shock. It's just like weird shit for the sake of being shocking. And I feel like if you have to constantly do that to entertain your audience, then your, your film sucks. And that's what it is. It's just weird shocking shit just to shock the audience because their plot is fucking atrocious. There, if that's what you even want to call it, there is almost like no semblance of a plot here. I still don't really know what the hell the whole story of Art the Clown is because it was never really explained. We still don't know what the hell is up with the dad, why he committed suicide, what was wrong with him mentally, how he drew Art the Clown and all these different characters. What is the deal with the sword? Why does it have these powers? Why is it only able to connect to Sienna? Like what? They introduce all these things and none of it makes sense. The end of the movie is one of the most ridiculous, nonsensical endings I've ever seen in my life. The gates of hell open up and drag in Sienna's niece. Now, I when I watched the, the first Terrifier movie, is very set in reality. It's very grounded in reality. And then you go and you watch part two, and they introduce all this weird shit, and they just fucking exacerbate it in three. Nothing makes sense in this movie nothing and, th and there's so many times where i thought the character was dreaming sienna i thought she was dreaming because of how ridiculous the scene was around her um and shit like that would happen right after a scene of her dreaming so it's like is she still dreaming is she not and they never really make it fucking clear um th yeah this movie just does a lot of weird shit was not a f I, again another perfect example of that girl from the first movie um who's like has her face eaten and shit is she possessed is she not is she the regular girl just crazy now they never make it clear because she does kills she does kills the she does kill the reporter in two but you just chalk that up they chalk that up to it being her and she's crazy which then she starts talking like as if she's got a demon inside of her and she starts talking for art and it's just it's like, what the fuck is this? It's like, what is going on here, man? It's it's just, it's so strange. It's so weird. The beginning is another big issue I have. How he hacks up the kid. I I just, I just think that was, it, it was I just think it was mean-spirited and in poor taste. The way they did it at first, they just had it off screen and you could hear it. That's fine. Then they go into the room and you see him just completely cut up. That was where I crossed the line. And I understood that was their point. They were trying to cross a line. That's, But that's kind of what worries me about this is that now if in part, in part four, which there will be a part four, if they don't cross the line with the kills or go overboard with them, then people aren't going to like it because that's the reputation they've built up. And that's why I, I just, I cannot consider the Terrifier franchise a peak horror franchise. I just can't. It's, it's, it's not, it, it just has no plot. It's just senseless murdering. Senseless, over-the-top murdering. It just doesn't work for me. Um, and I think Terrifier 3 suffers the most from it. <clears throat> because I think Terrifier 3 has probably the worst plot of all three of them, which we will, again, I, I don't want to spoil too much of the ranking, but it's just, I don't know. I, I really can't get behind this movie that much. I did not enjoy it that much. It's one of my least favorite movies of the year. 
And I've been hearing a lot of people saying they love it, and I just, I don't get it. Um, I'd probably give this movie a 3 out of 10, maybe. Um, again, I'm not going to tell you where it fits in with the rest of the, with the other two. Um, but yeah, Terrifier 3, not very good. Um, if you do like it, that's great, you know, I, I like what you like, but... I just think Terrifier 3 is nothing more than just a bunch of senseless killing and a, a, a plot that just completely makes no sense and is ridiculous. And I think the whole franchise is misleading because, again, the first movie is really set in reality and then it changes with 2 and then with 3 because you add in all these plot points that just... But you never follow through on them later. There's still so many questions, even from the first one, that still haven't even been answered yet. So, yeah, Terrifier 3... Big thumbs down. Not very good. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Terrifier 3. Um, if you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe. Let me know down your thoughts down in the comments below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.